Hey everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I made my leather face prosthetic from scratch. All you need is a lot of liquid latex and it does take a few hours so please make sure you do do this the day before. Okay, so starting out the first thing that I did was trace out my design with a nude lip liner. The reason I chose nude was because we're going to have to turn our prosthetic inside out later and I thought this was the closest colour to the skin tone that we're going to be painting on the mask. So starting out to make the prosthetic, the first thing that you want to do is apply one thin coat of liquid latex on the skin and then you want to make sure that it is completely dry. You want to repeat this process three times so we have a base to peel our prosthetic off so it won't be weak. Okay, so separating the ply of the tissue paper that I'm using, I'm then going to start applying one thin layer of liquid latex on my skin. And then I'm going to be applying single layers of tissue paper and then latex on top. I repeated this step about six times until I thought that it was built up enough to be a prosthetic that I could peel off my face and reapply. Okay guys, so once your prosthetic is 100% dry, then you can gently start trying to peel it off. Please make sure it is dry, otherwise you'll just be wasting your time and your products. Once you have your prosthetic off, you'll notice that one side is very rough and one side is smooth. So the whole idea is that we're going to be flipping our prosthetic over onto the other side of our face. The smooth side is now going to be the top of our prosthetic. Okay, so simply you just repeat this step for every part of your face that you have outlined into the jigsaw puzzle of a mask that we're going to be creating. So it's not that hard, but it is very time consuming. So I really recommend making this a day or two before. Okay, so just in case any of you guys are not aware, you really need to be careful when you're applying latex near your hair because it'll pretty much just rip it out. So if you do need to, you can overfill the lines a little bit to extend it for where it would usually go, where your hairline is, if that kind of makes sense. Okay, so the middle of the face is definitely a big important part because it does include your eyebrows and you do not want to get liquid latex anywhere in your eyebrows. So I'm just going to be showing you a real quick flick through of how I made the brow piece and how to keep your eyebrows on your face. Okay, so for the start of the brow piece you do as per usual as I showed you before in creating a prosthetic. When it does come to making the brow piece, I did want to make it a little bit more creepy. So try to extend the nose bridge to make it a little bit wider than your normal face. After that, I'll show you how I covered up my eyebrow and kept them on my face. So the first thing that I did was very carefully applied liquid latex all the way around the outside of my eyebrow. I then took a double ply of tissue paper and applied it straight over the top. I then took a separate piece of double ply tissue paper and applied the tiniest amount of liquid latex over the top. Not enough so that it will soak through to the under layer, but just enough so that it can actually adhere to the tissue paper. And once you've done that, you just continue with layering the liquid latex over the top as per usual. Once it's all dry, then you need to gently remove the middle of your brow piece, I suppose you could call it. And the brow piece is definitely a harder piece to take off your face, but it does turn inside out really well. So you don't have to worry about the nose being all deformed when you pull it off. So as you can see, the... Eyebrows are definitely just tissue because we did not apply any latex. You will need to apply some latex over the tissue for when we paint it so then it won't look soggy and not real. This is what the pieces look like once I've done all of them and it was really awkward to show me sewing them so I did just roughly sew them all together and trim it to fit my face. So I do have my big creepy contacts in at the moment if you were wondering. Now it's time to place the prosthetic on our face. I did use liquid latex to adhere it. You can use spirit gum if you like. It's very important to apply a thin layer on the inside of the mask and also a thin layer on your face just to ensure that it's not going to come off. 
So when sticking the mask down, you don't want the outsides to be stuck down because obviously someone else's skin is not going to stick on your face like a mask. So you do want the edges to be curled up a little bit around the sides. This is just going to make it look a lot more realistic. To give this a really creepy look, I used three different shades of foundation. I did this because I wanted it to look like there was more than one person's face that he's used as a mask. So if you do have any lighter or darker foundations, I really do recommend changing it up and making each panel a different colour if you can. Once you're happy with the different skin shades, then move on to setting it with a translucent powder. I did this because I felt like I applied so many layers of foundation, it was very wet. So I just lightly dusted translucent powder all over my face. And then I took a matte brown eyeshadow on a fluffy brush and filled in my eye socket areas. I felt like they should be deepened a little bit, so you can go ahead and do this to your liking. Taking a matte black eyeshadow, you want to start defining the skin tones and making it look as though the, the skin is decaying and rotting away. I then took Ben Nye's Thick Blood and I took a very thin paintbrush and I started applying this into where the skin joins, where it has been sewn together. There would obviously be a lot of blood there so you can go ahead and have fun with this part and yeah just build up the blood as you go. So to add different textures I also use stage blood. This is just going to change it up a little bit from the thickened blood that we just previously applied. Go ahead and do this as much as you like. Okay everyone, so I'm going to have to apologise to you because my camera did actually break. So the last few touches that I could do was fill in the eye sockets with a matte black eyeshadow just to deepen them a little bit more. And my lips as well. And then I just lined my waterline with a black eyeliner pencil and that's all I could really do. So I really hope that you did all enjoy the tutorial and please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.